There are thousands of invasive species already on Guam, and the island gets at least five to ten new invasive species a year. One of the newest ones is the little bark beetle, which can devastate forests. Today, Acting Governor Ray Tenorio signed a proclamation declaring this week as Guam Invasive Species Awareness Week. How many invasive species do we have on Guam right now? Frankly, we do not know. It's, it's, it's got to be in the thousands. Today, Acting Governor Ray Tenorio signed a proclamation declaring it Guam Invasive Species Awareness Week. Because of limited resources, Guam can't be sure of the exact amount of invasive species it has. What we do know is that Guam gets at least 5 to 10 new invasive species a year. One new one is another beetle. This one bores through all sorts of woody plants. Well, a little bark beetle was, uh, was identified just last year. It was a, a, a Forest Service uh, survey. And uh, it's, it's a little bark beetle that, that bores holes in many plants. And we just found out that it's uh, actually boring holes in our Cerianthes nelsoni plant, which is a very endangered species. In fact, there's only one mature plant on island. Invasives like these are just the ones that are reported. Many more go undetected. So what must be done to improve the prevention of invasive species? Uh, part of it is training. Uh, part of it is, is hiring the right people to do inspections and also identifications. Guam's only other entomologist, Dr. Ross Miller, agrees. So we need to reinforce the first line of defense, which are the Guam customs inspectors that, that uh, deal with the material as it's coming either more officers, more consistent and better training, uh, and uh, probably more support overall for, by the general public. At this point, Guam doesn't even have a territorial entomologist or bug specialist at its plant inspection station because Guam's territorial entomologist, Dr. Ross Miller, retired about a year ago.